I have indeed, Tristan. And look at this. It's a lovely herd. Quite a number of them around here at the moment. Just listen to some of the sounds around us. There's a cuckoo actually calling just off to my left. A um, Levalent cuckoo. I'm surprised it hasn't migrated yet. But look at those two little elephants there. Now, some of you might be thinking the first thing is, are they twins? Well, I'm not sure, to be honest. Now, elephants do or have been recorded um, giving birth to twins. Um, I haven't really seen it. There are two females here close to, close to each other. And it looks like the one youngster is slightly bigger than the other one. So I don't think they are twins. But they are both very, very young elephant. Those, those two little ones are probably a, between a year and two years old. So they're still learning, staying very close to the mothers. Such a lovely sighting. Daniela all the way in Peru. Hello Daniela. And you wanted to know how can someone tell the difference between the male and female elephant? Well Daniela, first thing that you can look for with these adult elephant is if you look at this female that is looking at us now, look at her forehead. Do you see it's actually quite sharp, quite angular? Oh hang on, okay, I'll finish that shortly. Tristan's got an elephant on foot. Let's go have a look. Oh, that is so, so wonderful, um, Tristan, to get that close to an elephant on foot. I'm actually jealous. I love it. Um, but we are very close to these. Look at these two little ones, actually just off to the right. Have a look at them over here. Oh, they are so cute. They look very similar in age, and they're staying very close to each other. Do you think the one's slightly bigger than the other one? No. Uh, Daniela, again, just getting back to your question, the difference between males and females. Now, if we quickly have a look just at this female to the right here, look at her forehead. Do you see that, Daniela? It's actually quite angular, the top of her head, um, almost at a 90 degree angle. You see that? Very sharp um, forehead. Now the males have rounder foreheads, it's not nearly as sharp as that, not as angular. Um, so over there, there, and then if we look just down to the back of the front leg there, you can actually see the mammary glands on the female too, especially if they've got youngsters. They won't be that prominent if they don't have youngsters. But this is a, a female, a mother, that's coming very close to us. Good morning, a beautiful female. Mary Kay, the males don't actually take part in parenting. I don't want to move too much. Um, now, the males don't really take part in parenting. They'll, um, they just move around between the different herds and try and mate with the females when they can. Um, so, not really. It's only the females that look after the young. However, when the young males, when they reach a certain age, they will then try and meet up with the big dominant bulls. So they'll leave a herd, meet up with a big bull, and that big bull will basically teach them how to be successful and where to look for females, where to look for food, how to potentially mate with females. That's what they, basi they, they do teach them. So I suppose in that sense maybe, but, but not, not with the youngsters, not at all.
<laughs> Look at those two over there busy playing. Look at that. Now that's just play, uh, play fighting, I suppose you could call it. Um, often the younger elephant, and those are two young, younger elephant. They're probably teenagers, I suppose you could call them. So they, they're very social, and they do like playing, pushing one another around. Tristan is to these elephants. It sounds like he's got a view of an eye. We are very close. I do indeed, Tristan, but where are you? Because I can't see you and you've apparently seen me and you can hear me. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> to see all these branches breaking around us. Okay, I think I know where Tristan is now. What we're going to do is we'll chase these elephant towards him and uh, see how he reacts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, we won't do that. The young bull, that one over there. Daniela, let's see if we can have a look at this male's head. Um, hopefully he turns for us and just show you that difference between the female and the male that we were speaking about. Um, but you should be able to see a clearer curve of the forehead and not that angular shape. I'm just walking behind that elephant now. Now, Douglas, these elephants are constantly feeding, so they can eat a huge amount of food. Um, they, they, the big bulls can eat up to 250 or 300 kilograms of food a day. So that's over 500 pounds. Now, the, the smaller ones, obviously, oh, probably much less, 100, 150 kilograms. But that's still over 200 pounds of food. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of food, between 200 and 300 pounds of food a day. Um, and the reason for that, Douglas, is that the elephants don't have a very efficient digestive system. So they, well, they only absorb about 20 to 30 percent of all the food that they eat, the nutrients from the food that they eat. So they constantly feed because a lot of the food passes straight through them. They don't have a very efficient digestive system. I think I'm going to move on from these Ellie's for now because I'm going to go and look at that hyena den site quickly. But let's Tristan show you some more elephant. <laughs> 